hello and welcome to a brand new video. Annoying. Don't really know why that happened. But basically all I'm saying is we were off on our way to this place I found in Redditch where they were selling like second hand uh, weights and I think they like make they make their own weights now and they sell them. But yeah, that I only found that when I got there. But um yeah, I was just I don't know why that sound happened, but I was just telling you guys that we were off to go meet the man, the plug, the man himself that was going to supply us with the gains that we needed over quarantine. Alright guys, and we have just got back. Um probably wondering what did I get the weights? I managed to get the weights. I managed to get a barbell, um not a proper Olymp Olympic like bar, but a barbell and forty kg for forty pounds. Now the geezer he was like he said that the barbell came to ten pound and that it was one pound fifty a kg. Um but so I don't know how it came to only forty pounds. But I'm not complaining. And oh, my mic just fell. That's brilliant. Yeah, hopefully you guys could hear me then. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you what we got. So let's go. Also, guys, it is now bright, sunny, and really hot. I swear, the English weather is one of the biggest mysteries in the world. That first goes the pyramids, then goes British weather. But this is what we got. So we got eight lots of these two and a half kgs. Um, and this barbell, it's a little bit crusty, but like it was second hand and it was only 40 quid for this whole lot. These are two clips, and um, yeah, pretty sick. So, we're gonna test it out right now. So, let's put some weight on it and finally do some bicep curls. We've only got 5 kg of soil, but this feels beautiful to have finally a bar in my hand. So we can do loads of stuff with this. We can do obviously bicep curls, you can do uh, reverse bicep curls. What else can we do with this? I guess you can do squats if we sort out a um, bit of a squat thing. Uh, what else? Um, barbell rope. Actually, with 40kg, you probably get a decent barbell row. Um, stiff leg deadlifts, I guess. What else can we do? Oh, any overhead tricep thing. School crushers will be able to do. Um, what else? Maybe side lateral raises? That's a thing. That feels nice, actually. Front rows. Front rows. Basically, we can do a lot with just these weights which is pretty sick to finally have um, oh we could do bent over sort of rows sort of like this sort of thing with 40kg again we could do decent with that um, basically there's a lot we can do with just this barbell for 40 quid I am not complaining so we are going to go ahead and get a quick arm pump because I think it would be rude not to really when we've just got this so let's go
so my camera is about to die we spent way too long out there using them ways it was like i had just found out that i was adopted been introduced to my real mother and was like we had so much catching up to do so we catched up with the barbo and the weights and we made love with them wouldn't do that with my mother but beside the point we have two of these um, pizza things that you guys have seen in other videos. I got the wrong sizes. I normally get the smaller ones of these, and I got the bigger ones. So fuming about that. Um, don't know how I made that mistake, but it is currently three twenty-eight, and we have work at four. So we spent way too long out there, but it felt so good. Like if you guys have ever been out, um, like gone, like taking a week off the gym or gone on holiday, and then you come back, and then that first pump when you come back is so good. This was 10 times better than that. It was emotional to say the least. But we are going to scuff this down as real quick actually and then head to work because we've got a 4 o'clock start at work. So let's get this down as. Oh, guys, we have finished work. I am knackered. It was such a busy shift. Oh. Ooh. It was like non-stop for basically three hours and I'm knackered. Um, for three of the hours of my shift, it was literally non-stop. Like, so obviously because of the whole coronavirus, um, we're only letting two people in at a time. So there was such a massive queue outside and uh, only two people can come in. So literally for three hours of my shift, it was just non-stop. Like, you didn't even get a break. Like You didn't even get a second like, to yourself. It was just constantly... Um, so I was putting out all the stuff and Carl, my other uh, co-worker was serving and it was just, oh, I didn't have two seconds to stop and then there were like, all the things in the back room were like stuck, uh, stuck, sorry, and so um, if, like, like, say you've run out of like Cobra, the beer, it'd be like right at the bottom so you had to move everything just to get to that and it was, oh, it was crazy, um, but yeah. Glad the shift has finished. We are going to go ahead and do our skipping, even though I'm knackered. We're just going to get it done. I feel like if I just get it done now, it'll be... Oh, my mic's going to fall. Um, it'll be better for me just to get it done, um, and then I can rest afterwards. So we're going to do that. So let's go ahead and do some skipping. All right, guys, we've got the music. I'll set up the time lapse. Um, ooh. Bit messed up. Right, sound. The lighting may go dark because it is gone half eight now, so the lighting will probably go dark, but hopefully it'll work. Right, let's get this done because it is freezing and I am knackered. guys hopefully you can see me and hopefully this camera doesn't fall because it slowly looks like it's slanted um but that is the workout done that was just one of them just one of them days in it where i think because i worked out with the weights earlier um i was just knackered and work was tiring it's just one of them days where you really can't bother but i just made sure i got it done um especially it, it like, it's important anyway just to keep active yeah this is definitely falling all right let me hold it because that was really slanted um but especially during this like um quarantine i think it's just important just to like keep yourself accountable for doing something i know i already done some it but obviously this is a cardio section to go towards the cut which is actually going pretty well like i'm I've, i think i'm quite a hard critic on myself to be honest like when it comes to like leaning down but i think i'm definitely getting leaner it feels like i don't know like i feel like you can get caught up sometimes, like constantly staring at yourself. Like every morning when you weigh yourself, you're like, "Am I getting leaner?" But I think that's the wrong thing to do. Kind of, if you're looking every day at yourself, you're not going to notice the small differences. But it, like, I feel like that's where like taking like progress vid progress videos and progress pictures are actually kind of helpful because it's like, okay, I might not be able to see me between two weeks looking at myself every single day. I would have made some changes to my physique, but I'm not going to notice it because I'm staring at myself every single day. To look back at like these sort of videos, 
uh, old pictures and it's like actually yeah I have made some changes I have like I do look a little bit leaner obviously I'm probably like a I don't know I'd say like a month and a half away from where I want to be but we'll slowly keep chipping away at it and we have it's not like we're gonna be let out of quarantine um, from for probably every month so we've got the time we've got the resources now with the barbell and obviously this can be used now for my cardio only um, when I do my circuits obviously you guys know I do the minute on 30 second um, of something and I used to do the like push-ups I used uh, but because now I've got the bar my arms are killing me basically from earlier's workout so it's like I didn't really feel the need to, to do push-ups so I just uh, shoot them with more ab exercises so we are directly hitting the demolons so um yeah it is freezing not gonna lie now that I've uh, cooled down from the jumping and um, so we're gonna chill for a bit and then we're gonna cook some food so um let's get to it all right guys so we have to be relatively quiet because everyone is in bed but we have one of our final meals, no, not the final meal of the day, but the second to last final meal of the day. Um, just some pasta, chicken and peas with the no added sugar and salt Heinz ketchup. Pretty basic meal, but this um, ketchup just makes it beautiful. And also, if you're one of them weirdos that pull your ketchup all over the top, no, you put it on the side. And you don't be perverts. So, right, I can you see this eight grams? Here we go. Right, so we got. Then we put about forty five. Thirty eight. Right. I can you see the lighting's not brilliant here. Forty five grams. Boom. For that, and that's like twelve extra calories. To a pretty basic meal, but do you know what? I've actually started loving this meal because it's. I don't know, I just like chicken. I like pasta. And I like veg. It's most veg anyway. So you can't really go wrong. So we're going to eat this. We're going to probably sit and watch something to be fair. Because I am pretty knackered. I've been sweating NBA recently. Uh, my team. But I don't know if I'm too tired to do that tonight. So we may just sit and watch some YouTube or something. We'll see how it goes. Alright guys. So we have our popcorn to end off today's macros. But today wasn't really about um, <clears throat> what I eat in my days. So yeah. Um, got them weights for really cheap which was the, kind of the whole point of the video i was really hoping i'd get some because uh, he has like a facebook page and he was saying like they were going like crazy and i was like oh so i literally went down there got my bag had to carry the 40 kg on my back to town which was like a 10 15 minute walk um and then i was gonna walk home but i was like my back was killing me so i got the bus back which i've been trying to avoid but because of the whole, you know, the crowd thing, but it was like, I weren't really going to walk. Um, well, from town to mine is like another 40 minutes with 40 kg on my back. That just wasn't going to happen. But I'm so gassed I got there. And like, today, when I'd done my workout with the weights, it just felt so nice to finally like be able to lift some weights and get like a nice pump. Um, even though, whoa, oops. Even though I've still been doing like all these body weight exercises, it's just nice to have some weights. I mean, I do some like curls, some like side lateral raises, uh, what else do I do over the head, shoulder. Um, it just feels nice. But um, that was the main purpose of today's video. Um, building my home gym, kind of a bit clickbait, but we'll go with it. I was thinking, to be fair, I might try and build like my own little bench or rack, maybe. I would. We could probably do that and that might be a bit fun um so yeah let me know let me know down in the comments or just by liking the video or at least just watching it um and if that's something i should do um because i feel like that could be something cool to do on the videos while we're stuck here a little project to do but yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video if you did please leave a like comment subscribe thank you all for watching i'll catch you in the next one